Well. Somehow I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend when I sensed something. Perhaps it was my finely honed detective's intuition at work. When I look at that picture, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. Just insert link noise. Also, <laughs> she called his car garish. Edgeworth was going to be sad. <laughs> I love that link noise. <laughs> The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. It wasn't the not pointy part, because that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> hmm. Bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touching. Oh, he's jealous. How convenient. How she's so jealous. Hmm? Hmm? How many... How many, Wait, how oh, many did, boyfriends does she have? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. How many boyfriends does she have? She has two. She, yeah, she said she had more than one, right? <laughs> yeah. Because they're, they're hinting at her being uh, her boyfriend being the uh, patrolman who would not be working there. So I was like, hang on a minute. <laughs> well, yeah, so there's someone up in the glass window. She's like, oh, he works up there in the, the, behind the glass guy? window. Ah. And then she says, and then she talks to her cowboy. Wow, he knows all the right people. The cowboy? You know, well, she knows the person who's going to be in, who's oh, investigating she, the case, yeah. and she knows the person who literally works on the crime scene. I'll have to more she's, strategically she's well plan suited. my boyfriends next time I want she, to commit a murder. <laughs> she's well suited to framing someone right now. Yeah. Hmm. As you can see, there is no room for doubt. Next, the judge will be her boyfriend too, and then <laughs> she'll. Everyone's. You're her boyfriend. You're her Everyone's boyfriend. Her boyfriend. You're her boyfriend. You don't even. You just don't know it yet. So we're going to rotate on a weekly basis. You get Mondays and you get Tuesdays. But only every fourth month. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of boyfriends. <laughs> the key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than... The point of the knife, which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. See? I can make jokes, too. I'm like a young people. Knives are sharp. Stick him with the pointy end. That's a joke from the show. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? Under my high heel shoes. I'm still thinking about that. Don't get too excited. Phoenix. You don't crush with high heels. <laughs> well, that's that, stab with knife shoes. That's a fetish people have is when they get stepped on with high heels. Yeah, but it's, that's not that's, the crushing isn't the word I would think you of. You can crush certain things with high heels. I guess so. <laughs> that would be a poor choice. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's merely a f flesh wound, Mister Wright. Are you making a Monty Python reference? Yeah. Emma? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness if you want to embarrass yourself or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I always knew a day like this would come. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime, yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. The lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. Given that they are used to they're used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim. Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Miss Star, do you have something against personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Prosecutors can lay off the police. That doesn't make sense. That's, they're, they're not in the same company. Like it's not the same. Like yeah, this isn't like all one happy family. We're learning more horrible, concerning things about this this legal system. <clears throat> Laid off. She was fired. She's pachinkoed. I told you. Yep. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. That said, I am a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. Very well. You may continue, Miss Star. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. This boyfriend? He's the detective? Not that boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the security guard. Th that boyfriend? You have several? Yes. Wow, big assumption there. Oh wait, I love her. Go from two to like many. This boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. 
Care to join? Oh my gosh! Yes! <laughs> I knew it! She has I a knew stable. It. The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. Oh my gosh, I love her. You're playing the field. I I'll stick with the lunches, thanks. Notes to self. The judge had had to think before replying. Oh, he almost said yes. Yeah. The security guard room is in the lot in, blo in A block. It's up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. That would be the security. That would be the room with the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunch boxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. So she was in B block when she witnessed the crime. When I sent something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective intuition at work. You sensed something? So you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? It felt like... How would you say... Oh yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. Okay? What? What does that mean? I yeah. have no idea what that means. <laughs> Speaking of detective's <laughs> intuition, wasn't the victim of Mr. Bruce Goodman also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. Like lime in your youth. Your like oh, like, the, like the scent of a fresh lemon, <laughs> says Mr. Grossman. <laughs> a young cheese. A pale white cheese, not yet tangy with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. Hmm. Then I must be... Hard, yellowed, and sharp as a tack. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I love this. Stop wow. flirting, Judge. Stop it. Wow. Well, <laughs> I do like sharp cheese. Yeah, with an odor of an old cheese to match. Damn. In any case, in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. Hold it, that car is not garish. <laughs> By garish car, you mean... Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Mr. Edgeworth's? Incidentally, the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's. Wasn't it? Indeed, it was. Hmm. What an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you are sure it was the defendant. I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Let's just do what we can. Even if they don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. Yeah. Witness. In your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Hair flip. Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. There it is. <laughs> I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Ooh, new face. Ooh, she's cute. That? That was inspiring. <clears throat> I believe I've heard the tagline elsewhere. You could cry plagiarism. What what tagline? What she just said. The, the fritter the part? The fritter thing. I've never heard that before. Yeah, I have no idea. But it's also not relevant to call it as plagiarism. I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. A photograph? You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap. I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with a camera. You're, Why? Not, you're, not, a, you're not a lunch lady. She's definitely like in PI mode. She's undercover. Oh, I don't have the picture yet, damn it. I want to look at it. I think that was Edgeworth's uh, jacket from the last case. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think she's she's uh, cleaning up after a mess that she thinks is Edgeworth's because she doesn't want him to get in trouble. Yeah. I think she really thinks it was Edgeworth, but it wasn't. I think she's just trying to cover yeah. it for him. 
like I said at the beginning. Because it was actually her or some shit. It was actually someone else. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> yeah. Witness, why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I'd show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. Disgust me. My boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Well, this is most certainly the, the defendant. Uh oh, this is unmistakably Lana Sky. So, what was the defendant doing at the time? The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Tell me more about this knife the suspect was carrying. Well, I see the blade was about four inches long. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Is This is your knife, after all. Uh, yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are, by nature, well-versed in the location of a man's vital organs. What? By nature? Not even by vocation. By nature. <laughs> they can just fucking... They are predatory. They can heat sight someone's heart beating in their chest. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. You can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean, a person. Hmm? Perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor? So, the defendant was holding a knife. What then? Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. This kills the crab. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. No, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he can't make it. <laughs> you said that before. Anything else? Um, scientifically speaking, Mr. Star's, Mr. Star's testimony is flawless. Well, fuck us then. Good thing you're an idiot with no feedback that's useful. Yeah, I'm just here. I don't Sounds know why. Sounds fatal to me. What do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Well, you coupled really fast. <laughs> Is this over yet? I'm bored. <laughs> Let's keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. Like she's panicking for you? Just because it's the only way he's ever done a case. D don't smile like that. Creep. Somehow I always knew a day like this would come. Oh, we've looped. Yes, we've looped. So let's find the contradiction then. Always knew this day would come. I was on my way to deliver lunch to my boyfriend. My boyfriend. <laughs> Sex is intuition. Well, that's a good story. I should tell it to my boyfriend. It's <laughs> 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 always a really funny trope. <laughs> Like the idea is that uh, someone's being talked to, like at the bar or whatever, and they just like keep dropping hints to their boyfriend existing, so the person goes away. <laughs> Let me tell my boyfriend. <laughs> I didn't read that one. Whoops. Is it like a whole episode? I of... sense something magically. All right, great. Like spooky. There's a. It's always sunny Philadelphia episode where they're preparing for like. Um, like a disaster, and, yeah. and Dennis is trying to pick up girls at the Home Depot because he, he wants them to bunker, and so he's, he like gets these two girls to like talk to him for a long time, and at the end they're like, oh, we can bring our boyfriends, and he's like, you guys have boyfriends, and he like yells at them in the Home Depot. It's like, why would I want you to bunker with me? You should, you obviously know I was hitting on you, and they were like, what? Yeah. There are people like that. When did the barrel fall over? Is that important? <laughs> Um, One of the water barrels was knocked over. Yeah, because that is that wall, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the magic wall that has the little hose on it. I mean, you can't inherently prove that the barrel fell over during this event. No. I mean, the murder already happened by now. Yeah, but it could be like the next day. Yeah, the blood's only on the outside of the jacket, which looks way too big for her. That's why I do think it's Edgeworth's jacket. That does not look fitted. Um, She's also wearing it like a one, one like a one piece boss fight, like a badass. It's like, like it's the members of the military or whatever always wear like they they just wear a jacket on their shoulders, then which magically stays on somehow, flapping in the wind. This and is, shit. It's like a metaphor for a cape. 
The um. That's a, I, don't, I, I don't. I don't. I can't. I don't think I can. I, I can agree with the word metaphor there. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's supposed can, to symbolize a cape. It's to inspire the thought that. of a cape. I don't think I can accept it's a metaphor for a cape. It's to inspire the thought of a cape, Keith. Capes are unworthy of metaphors. <laughs> are you handing me a metaphor? <laughs> I'm handing it here. I got you a metaphor. For Christmas. <laughs> I got you a metaphor for Christmas, Princess Beach. Oh gosh. <laughs> I can't believe that game's real. Alright. But she looks really nonchalant looking in the trunk. It's, it's odd to me, like, where is this dead body at? Is it in the trunk already? Is she, like, just about to shut the trunk, or is she discovering it at this moment? She doesn't have a knife in her hand. Don't know if that's important. Yep, she's wearing gloves. Well, it's like, she said, like, oh, he, I saw her stab the pointy bit into the guy. Where's the picture of that? Where's that part? Well, you know, you're not always ready with the camera. She, like, she fumbled with it for, like, a minute before she, got, like, got I mean, this. you don't know you're about to see a murder, usually. But it's like, ah, oh, well, she just murdered that man. This is after now the murder. Now he's stashing the body in the trunk. Yeah, oh. so that's when the photo would have, that's when she would have been ready to take a picture finally. That's checks it out. This is the moment of the crime, though. What? The photo said the moment of the crime. Like, it's, it's described as the moment of the crime. The moment of the crime. I mean, that's a crime, too. <laughs> I suppose so. That, 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 that's, that's within the continuous period of crime that is occurring. <laughs> that is still a part of the crime. Yeah. The chief prosecutor was holding the knife in her right hand. Um, what about her- Stab isn't her, her hands all busted? I don't know if that matters yet. I mean, you can't point to her. She doesn't like- she isn't here for us to say that about her, but she's got a busted hand. Traces of victim's blood. Traces. This seems like a lot, but okay. <laughs> Just show her the badger. This is one way to lose. Yeah. Can't spin it around or anything. Six seven S twelve two. Is that a is that a parking spot? I don't know, honestly. Do we have the map with us? No, there's, there's no there's no S like we six seven have S. Nothing to go on. What is up with this weird sliding car thing? <clears throat> we haven't even discussed that. What's up with that? Well, I guess I think they just assume we know what that is. I, I think that, you know, if, if you lived in Japan, maybe you just see those all the time and you don't think anything of it. That's it. That's all the statements. Hmm. <clears throat> she didn't say the time or anything, right? I don't think so. So she apprehended her? Is that what I'm getting? Angel Star apprehended? How did she apprehend her? Th through the fence. Maybe she just called the police? Perhaps? I think you have to present this photo, I just don't know at what point. Because you have nothing else you can present. That I think it has any... I don't know what they'll say when you present the photo, but I can't think of any other thing you'd present besides this photo. I think the point is you're supposed to receive this photo and then loop around and use it during a different part. That reverse card. I just don't know, like I said, I don't know what part or why you use it. Oh my gosh, don't. It's all happening. Emma, it's not the time. Not the time. You shouldn't say- like, that's only gonna be important if you say the time. If she doesn't say the time at all. Wait, 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 wait. Twelve- wait, wait, hold on. Wait. On here... Oh, two. 
Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 221. That thing says 12, 2. You know, that means that thing's upside down. That's supposed to be 221, and it's supposed to be... What's S upside down? Something L9? That, I think of things that are written upside down. That note's written upside down. Right? No, because the two- oh my gosh, an idiot. Right? Because the two upside down isn't a two. Yeah. Never mind, take it back. But, 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 but this happened on 221. It seemed like too much- too close- too close for it to not mean anything. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, that would be a two upside down. I checked. I checked. <laughs> I checked. <laughs> That's what that creaking noise was. Yeah, SL9. Yeah. I think it's upside down. 221... SL9. SL9. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means, though. What does it mean? I don't know, but that's gonna be important later. What could the, what could the definition of that be? What's it going on? Call your grandparents. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh... Can't rotate it or interact with it anyway. So if that does matter, I don't think it matters it yet. Matter yet. Yeah. So I think it's gonna matter later. But I'm telling you that but now before I forget. What matters now? I'm not sure what's going on right now. <laughs> what did she say after this? She says that she apprehends them. That's the end. What, what part does she apprehend them? I don't think that's part of the testimony. Well, I, but can you, can you like, do you have to like get her to say something down one of these alleyways and then present the evidence? Is that, something, is that, is that an option for you? My play pen. We just need to present it, uh, uh, evidence that contradicts one of these statements. Prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Ooh, I, w I want to. I wish I could hear her talk about the photograph again. Are we supposed to just say like, "Yo, you said she was holding a knife in her hand, but in this photo, she's not holding a knife." I feel. I I think it's something as stupid as that because I don't know I'm what else try you could it, do. I'm really stuck. I was gonna say I don't know what else you could do. Objection! As you can see. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm right. He's I'm... gonna be like, as you can see, this evidence clearly contradicts this, the evidence the statement. Well, no, it's just you. Does you, it? You can't present this as Fuck. evidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just referring to the fact that there's like the specific pattern where you know you're screwed. It's like, oh, he's saying the generic line. We're fucked. Yeah, you, you tell right away, and also if, if he slams the desk, then it's a good thing. Is it? <laughs> well, he puts both hands on the desk, he goes, mm, and he like looks down, pauses, and then he like looks up and says something. He just slams his alchemy circle? Yeah, he like... With both hands. Clap, stomp. <laughs> and you witnessed this? You saw Miss Sky stab the victim with a knife. As I've already said, yes. I swear on my finest salmon swirl lunch. That one looks good. It's like got sauce. There's sauce in the yeah, corner. It is once again though, just rice. It's uzumaki. Is that is that, is that a cursed lunchbox? It's a yeah. It's a cursed lunchbox. No, no. Box. There's a salmon skin in there. Where? Th that swirl is salmon. That salmon? I think so. I think it's supposed to be salmon skin wrapped. I thought in it was just that sauce that's in, which also is for some reason in the box. That's a lot of sauce to get with your food. Like that, they're not going to use that. That's why I think it's separate. I think I don't know. Maybe it's a brand know. deal just to advertise that sauce. You get a whole bottle of it with the, the order. <laughs> but then that's like a weird sample platter of just the sauce on rice. There's too I many think, There's think, too many just rice dishes I she's giving out. The salmon is swirled. I think that's salmon. Salmon skin. They laid it flat and then they wrapped it. You get skin? Yeah. Like, even, you, get, you get... Not even like salmon, like mulch. <laughs> oh, well, it could just be salmon mulch. But I just know like uh, there's a lot of fish skin dishes you like can get. Spicy salmon. You're... Um, what is your yeah? Your brother gets salmon skin rolls. I would like to think that it's like yeah, it's like, like spicy hand salmon. rolls, I like hand spicy rolls salmon. that are salmon skin. They make it crunch. They make it really good. I think it's just like that's wrapped on its side. I think it's wrapped like a jelly roll, but with salmon skin and rice. I'm trying to read the label, but you can't. Uh, isn't it in? 
That is it. Well, is it in gibberish? It looks. I'm uncertain. I don't think it's in what, Japanese. I think yeah, it's just gibberish. Yeah, I'm uncertain what I'm looking at there. It's really skewed, though. Did you already, did you already read that? Hmm. You can't read it. No. Did you already read that? Yeah. Hmm. I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. <laughs> This is the photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? I knew it! Miss Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. She said it so plainly. That had to be the weakest objection ever, Edgeworth. Yet, it was still stronger than your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I saved your life. He said don't bring personal affairs into this case, Keith. Look at him. Look at this bullshit he's saying. It's unnecessary. <laughs> what do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. I figured that already. A and how can you tell <clears throat> that? Because of the blood, dummy. Blood splatter. Yeah, what the fuck? Are you a child? Huh? See the dark crimson stains on the chief prosecutor's coat? But it's a black and white photograph. That's like oil or something. Oh yeah. Why do you- wait. Why are you taking black and white photographs in 2001? Because she wants you to think it's blood, but it's not. It's uh, soy it's... sauce. Oh from, no, from the lunch. it's from the it's salmon from the swirl. Yeah. She like ambushed her and squirted her. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. But it could not be, also. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem except you. Mr. Wright, are you gonna just sit there and take this kind of abuse? Uh, you had a better idea? <laughs> Don't say no problem. <laughs> no problem. Okie There's so many dokie, chances then. to just give up in these cases. <clears throat> Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. I well, would still contend that's still a crime. It seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. <laughs> you can't fight that now. This contradiction was stupid. That's it? Yeah. That, that's, that, that's the easiest thing to say. If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo size lunch from the get-go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understood it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold, calculating like a robot. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. That doesn't look. That face does not look cold. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks like it you looks don't like care. Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in the photograph. Well, are those gloves? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would you have those on? Is that what they look like? That's not what I thought they were. No. Nah. But whatever. Maybe. I, I don't know. I totally thought they were just... Like leather gloves. gloves. Yeah. How can you tell from a black and white photo? You can't. Huh. Well, if he says it, that means it's clear to everyone was, else. Yeah, I thought she was wearing some styling-ass gloves. No, me too. I thought she was, like, like driving gloves or something. Yeah. Uh... If it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. Wow! Yeah, that's kind of hard to argue. These gloves do seem to tell a tale of premeditation. Premeditated murder, a serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor say next to a garage yeah, car. Yeah, I, I rewind a little bit. Yeah, it's all the same dialogue. Blah, 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 blah. You know, when she opens her mouth, she has like... It doesn't have... She doesn't have like the white circle that the other characters have. So I wonder if in like the late... In like the... After the first game, they fixed that. Maybe. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves, like driving gloves? That's what we said. 
The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. You should have mentioned that earlier, Edgeworth. They were rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. Well, she's cleaning up. That's what she's doing. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Did you do that? Was it you premeditated? I think so. <laughs> Yarg! You can't tell me she's not capable of murder. Yeah. Impressive. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She's got them thinking it was all planned. If she can prove this claim, the trial's already over. I've got to think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. <laughs> Only a flesh wound, Mr. Ray. This is all old, right? Yeah. yeah. We keep looping. Is my sister guilty? Is my sister guilty? I give up. I want to go home now. <laughs> so go. Mm hmm. Hmm. Premeditated crimes. How do you prove it? I'm not really sure. Her. Um. How, wait. It's true. It's not premeditated. Why would her premeditated murder involve Edgeworth's car and Edgeworth's knife? That's fucking weird. That's, that's what I want to ask, but. Um, I mean, that... Where was he during... I, I, where, where was he? Where was he? Um... Hmm. Yeah, none of this is uh, particularly useful to us right now. What's this memo mean? I'm not really sure. What is this shit? I don't get it. that um uh, well I'm conf mm. Mm. Edgeworth really shouldn't be the lawyer in this case because mm. she had access to his car for some reason she had access to his trunk and the knife for it, some reason it really blatantly comes across as him trying to deflect blame for the so that he's not accused of the murder when it happened with his weapon and his car. Yeah, and he's, and he's somehow allowed to pro uh, prosecute somebody else for the crime. I mean, can, I don't know what the I don't know, man. There's Ruth's car. <laughs> I mean, does the Parking sub prove it wasn't premeditated because she had to plan it around Edgeworth's being there. So even if she didn't have anything, I mean, like, how would it be premeditated if she had to wait on like a piece of it that was so contingent on Edgeworth just happening to show up at that time? I mean, granted, it's all, all this is a stretch. I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna plan a murder, why would you involve a huge part of it that may or may not be there at that specific time. You're just guessing that Edgeworth is going to show up at that time. You could use his car for murder. For hiding a body. It's just convenient, I guess. Hmm. I'm trying to correlate the parking stub with the weird note because they're so similar in certain ways, but I don't see how the fuck they're relevant at all. And if you flip one of them over, like they, they it makes the 221 part match, but not the other part. SL9 is going to mean something else. I don't think it's relevant yet, but SL9 
I sell nine. I sell nine. It has nothing to do with his ID number, right? No, it's just a bunch of numbers. Um. Yeah, it's, I mean, that hasn't come up yet. I'm just kind of like, are there any weird details about this thing we haven't found? Metal plate, previous recipients, fun karma. I'm just kind of worried, like, what if I'm missing a piece of evidence from one of these things that I was supposed to find? Well, I know, but it's like... They don't get- I mean, they only give you, like, one thing per thing. Has nothing yet. I feel like that's gotta be it, but I just, I, like I said, I don't know what they're gonna say when you present it, but I can't think of anything else to present. The murder was planned, the rubber, rubber gloves <clears throat> prove it. But, bitch, what about this? How did this happen? How was it planned? This is so specific. Well, Cedric was in on it. This was just, I don't know. To argue that would argue that Edric was in on it, which is not what she's here to do. I'm trying to like I don't now know what change her motive the, is anyway. Now looking at the parking stuff and like changing its its uh time. I'm like what? I'm like I'm like S one S isn't helpful either. <laughs> like. I'm trying to think of like what it, <clears throat> what it would look like if we reversed. No, I mean that's three or uh, sorry, that's a uh, five twenty-five five. Hmm. Well, so like. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? So the whole it's not a song, but I thought it was for a second there. I thought it was too. Is it not a song? I think it is a song. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? How do you like me now? Oh, that's the cadence. I thought <laughs> it's not the same. No, it's, I think I think I'm thinking of a real song. Yeah. But so the whole thing from here. Buzz cuts. <laughs> buzz cuts. Is that a movie? No, it, it's just one of those many. You know how like there was an era where, where CDs were still purchased by people, <laughs> and and there'd yes. be TV there'd be TV commercials about compilation. They're basically just mixtapes. Yes. That were licensed, and they'd be like, "The greatest hits the '90s, it's buzz cuts," and, and it'd just be like, just, just like, "I wish you would step back from that come, my lady, come, come, my lady," and it'd just be like scrolling through like twenty songs, and like every fifth one would be highlighted in yellow, that, like, and that's the one like they show now, in the background. Like now, now yeah, it was when now was constantly on TV as commercials. Yeah. And yeah, like just I, there was buzz cuts which I had a copy of. Well. Yep. It might be over there. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Throwbacks. I like buying CDs still, but you know, when this quarantine ends, maybe I'll go buy some CDs still. Oh wait, my car doesn't have a CD port anymore. Damn, I've no. Wow, that makes me sad. I just forgot that. Does your laptop have a disc tray? No. Oh my god. I remember the first time I bought a laptop without a you disc tray. You can't do CDs ever again. I was like, You're I was dead. like, where's the disc? Where's how'd, the disc yeah, tray? You, what do I do? What do you mean I download everything from the internet now? That was hard for me. That was a hard day. <laughs> how do I download the internet? <laughs> what What is the internet? I have to start from scratch. <laughs> uh, fucking... Okay, so with this... Uh, this this, this whole situation... We have to prove the murder wasn't planned. But I think... Okay, so there's only... There's the one... The issue being that she needed Edgeworth stuff. So the the ticket represents Edgeworth's car and his arrival. I don't know where the fuck he was, and we're not going to figure that out anytime soon. We know where he was. Well, yeah, but, but oh, you mean after he arrived? Yeah, like presumably went 
to the elevator. Like I he guess. just like walked just away, left. and then a murder happened. Yeah, in only three minutes. He has not said anything because he's on shocking. He's a part of the staff of this case, which he should be giving a statement. But whatever. Yeah. Um, the knife was in the back of his car. I don't think she could have used that because I was in the back of his car. So it's got to be either the ticket or the knife. I am wondering about the timeline of this, like, three-minute murder. Like, he parks... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where was he? He parks, apparently sprints out of the entire <laughs> parking lot. He, like, doesn't gather the stuff in his car or anything. Yeah, he doesn't, like, sit there for an And in that exact moment, for some reason, the prosecutor and the victim both arrive at his car. She gets the knife out of his trunk, which he has access... She somehow has access to... And then stabs him, and then stashes the body in like three minutes. All of this happens in three minutes, even though they weren't there when he parked. I think, uh, yeah, that, that's like a that's like the <laughs> biggest murder on record. That's this like a whole fast narrative's murder. bad. It doesn't make sense. Mm -mm. We shouldn't be even taking it as possible. No, but, but you anyway, know, this is which, Phoenix which, Wright. Which the, the yeah, the, it's Phoenix Wright. Is the entire narrative is like wrong for a hundred reasons. And the real puzzle is figuring out which part of the fucking yarn knot to tug on now. Yeah, like, like which- Which specific dangling thread, which fucking hanging chad do we need to get to go after in this particular <laughs> uh, <Chad>. presentation? <laughs> <laughs> which, which hanging chad is the least wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's or, gotta- Or currently the most wrong. Well, oh yeah, I guess yeah. that is what you want. Uh, try, try the knife or the ticket. I think maybe the knife because it was it had to be locked in his trunk. I still don't know how she yeah. got it, but it's usually in his toolbox. The thing thing is, they mention it, so I feel like maybe. Yeah, the thing is, it could have still been planned. It's just like Edgeworth would have had to be in on it. Yeah, but something. we're not apparently I'm never gonna bring that yeah. up, so it can't be that. Because yeah, it's weird that her murder, vic that her murder. This, is, this, this whole case is lacking professionalism. The entire, the entire testimony doesn't make sense. But maybe this is the way it doesn't make sense. Witness, do you know what this is? That's a good sign. Are you trying to test me? I sell box lunches for a living, you know. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. That's very interesting. The bloody murder weapon, a red car, all the lines, no They caught a red car and did. They don't usually say anything, that's weird. Mommy, I prosecute bad people. Whoa! Whoa. The defense has a request. Why is there a kid at this murder trial? That mom needs to go on trial. We ask the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, Ricky? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. However, why would she not also prepare the most important thing? The murder weapon. <gasps> oh. New face. Sweaty face. Sweaty face. <laughs> Shiny face. <laughs> I use that my bangs to wipe up my sweat. Uh, my bangs are getting fucking long. Get, get, I, I can pull this routine. Karen O look. I love Karen sweaty O. Sweaty bangs. Yeah, that is like her look, isn't it? Yeah, this knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. Uh, ah. Wow. That was a whole thing. She dropped all of her lunch boxes that- bo boxed lunches. <laughs> that she's for some reason still holding. Order. 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 Great. Now the tide's returning in our favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister's as good as free. No. <laughs> right. I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. What is a humble pie? Is that even a thing? It's just, I think it's just saying, I think it's like, how about them apples? It's how just about like, them apples? You like apples? I just always hear about a humble about pie, and apples? I'm like, is there actually an, a humble pie? No. It's just saying, like... It's just a nonsense sentence. It's like knuckle sandwich or something. Knuckle sandwich, I think, is actually a sandwich, though, because you can eat knuckles. Knuckles are a type of fish. 
What? Yeah. <laughs> Those knuckle fish and I... then they make a knuckle sandwich. Wait, did I just make that up? <laughs> Either I really genuinely thought that as a child or as a real thing. I don't know. <laughs> You know so much more about fish now than you would have as a child. Yeah, I said that out loud, and then I was like, wait a minute. That doesn't sound right now that I've said it. That's the most, like, I don't know, maybe it's true, but it was the most <laughs> fucking strange sentence. You can have a knuckle sandwich there. Yeah, the fish, the knuckle fish. You know what's, <laughs> you you know what's funny? Is for some reason, I went right to fish. Why would I assume it was a fish? Why would I mean a fish oh, I'm knuckle? Gonna, I'm going to look at that shit up really quick. I, I got to like, know. I was like, because it made a... <laughs> that's not a knuckle either. <laughs> that's just. Well, I, I think I literally just made that up in my brain <laughs> as a child, and I thought it was real until right the second where I got called into question. <laughs> it's just this. Put, that's, that's the let's play trap. Is you just go through your whole life? Why with did these I think that? Fucking ticking time bombs that? in the back of your brain, waiting to embarrass you one day, and then you got on a film saying windmill, <laughs> and everyone knows. <laughs> Why did I? I don't know why I thought that. This all these years, <laughs> my whole life, my dad used to say that to me all the time as a joke, like a knuckle sandwich joke, like. And I never thought about why I thought why it was a it, fish. Why would it be a fish? I don't know. I don't know, Keith. I don't know. I also thought that Rocky <laughs> Raccoon like, was about a real raccoon. That's like the neat, least knuckly animal. Maybe because maybe because. Do you think Rocket Raccoon's named after the song? No, maybe. I love Rocky Raccoon. Do you picture a raccoon when you listen to Rocky Raccoon? I don't listen to Rocky Raccoon that much. Oh, like a song is so good. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Hammer is a better song. See, and then, and then, okay, and then when I listen to Maxwell Silver Hammer, I think of the kid I knew in school whose name was Maxwell, who I hated. And I still picture his face when I listen to that song now because I, it's so ingrained in my memory that his face I'll think of forever because that's what I first associated with that song. You don't song. think of like Little Slugger or something? No, because I knew that kid first. Mm. His name was Maxwell. Fuck you, Maxwell. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think Humble Pie is a real pie, Keith. <laughs> what? 